Flash floods triggered by above normal monsoon rains continue to wreak havoc across Pakistan, leaving various cities and villages submerged, crippling life and claiming around 1,000 lives since mid June. Meanwhile, Pakistan Army aviation helicopters flew four sorties to rescue stranded people. According to the Inter Services Public Relations, 110 stranded people have been evacuated from Khawazakhela to Kanju Cantonment in Sawat. Following directions of Corps Commander Peshawar, troops have established contact with a few families stuck in Kumrat during sudden flash floods, the ISPR said in a statement. The families travelled to the valley from Islamabad, among which 22 people have been rescued and evacuated via helicopter. Meanwhile, on the appeal of Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif, a plane carrying relief goods for the flood-affected people of Pakistan from the United Arab Emirates landed at Noor Khan Air Base in Rawalpindi. The relief goods include tents, food items, medicines and other essential goods. UAE Ambassador to Pakistan and Planning Minister Hassan Iqbal received the relief goods at the airport. It is pertinent to mention that 15 more planes carrying relief goods will reach Pakistan in coming days on the instructions of UAE President Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Talking to the media in Balochistan, Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif announced a grant of 10 billion rupees for the province. He said the NDMA and provincial authorities would make a plan on whether to give the money to those whose crops were destroyed or to rebuild roads and houses. The Prime Minister also spoke about the destruction caused by the floods, saying he had never seen this kind of flooding in his life before. He thanked the Chief Ministers, Chief Secretaries and teams working to rescue flood-affected families. He said that the Presidents of Turkey, Iran and UAE spoke to him last night and offered their country's help. PMLN Supremo Nawaz Sharif directed all party leaders and workers to get involved in the relief efforts for flood affectees and leave all their prior commitments as this was not the time for politics. In a televised message, the party Supremo appealed to affluent individuals to generously support flood affectees across Pakistan while acknowledging Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif's efforts during the time of catastrophe.